God damn it. There we go. There we go. We in here. Sorry to hear that, Manny. You'll be all right, though. You guys, don't forget to stop by cmpkits.com. That's cmpkits.com. Get yourself a copy of Presence by Pupil Analog Lab 5 Bank. 60 presets in the style of yo, 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 it's Pupil. That's right. Tap in today. I need to, uh, I need to do something. Uh, I need to do something for public record. Why? Why did you just do that, Studio One? Why? Studio One was like, nah, nah, we, we, don't, we don't have that. Echo Boy Jr. Echo Boy Jr. It don't matter how many times I update Echo Boy Jr. Echo Boy Jr. just loves crash plate. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get Echo Boy Jr. out this template. Cause I'm tired of it. Echo Boy Jr. used to be a very necessary part of my workflow, and I don't think I need Echo Boy Jr. anymore. What's up, Isan? I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over my, uh, my gain staging real quick for you guys. Just so I can. Um, I need to document it and, and have something easy that somebody could go back to. Because I got a brother who, keep, who keeps on asking me about. And I think I think it's just it, it, it's confusing. Um what UAD did with the uh with the oxide plugin and what they do with their tape plugins because their tape plugins aren't like anybody else's tape plugins and I'll show you what I mean here in a second after I fix this template issue so if I go here What do I got? I got one Echo Boy in here. What's Echo Boy doing? That's a quarter on a space delay. Easy money. We'll get you out of here. Boom. Yeah. Valhalla delay is gonna gonna uh gonna replace all these. Digital. Excuse me, sir. One quarter all the way up. Doom, 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 doom. And we're done. All right. No more sound toys in the flow. Thank God. Great. Okay. Boom. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
what am I doing now? Save as. Save as Tiggity Template. So, okay, the way that, the way that I run, the way that I run my templates on every DAW, right, is I come in, I, 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 the Studio One is my favorite, like, visual experience. You know what I mean? Studio Studio One is my favorite visual experience for, you know, just the way that they have a VU meter on every channel. So it's easy to manage this. And then on top of that, you don't have to add like no utility or trim plugin, right? On top, they have this, um, this guy right here to mitigate gain, right? So the way that I do everything is we come in to the oxide, right? And if you come in, right, if you, if you watch this, if you go to zero dB right here, you'll get zero dB on this. Now, the whole point of this of this plugin is it's not like it's not a uh, <laughs> this plugin is not a tape plugin as far as like tape effects, right? It is when you see when you actually look at it, it's a tape recorder, right? So it's not going to give you like wobble or hiss or any stuff like that. It's going to give you the way the way that recording to tape can sound, right? And the way that the way that it does that, right? This is one of the this is one of the deals. Experience the in-the-box recording through tape in real time using Apollo interfaces, right? Load oxide on 24 tracks. So what they want you to do, right? The main point is to understand the input control adjusts the signal of the recorded tape, and this is the and this is the primary color, right? So what this is doing is you want to you want to drive you want to drive the input not so not so that you get distortion or anything anything really that you could hear too much right but if you have this on every single track it's going to give you they should have like it's going to give you you got to think about it like this it's not it's not like 16 or 10 or 24 rolls of tape, right? It's going to each one of these, each one of these guys on your, on your, uh, on your mixer. And tell me if this makes sense. Each one of these represents, represents one of these up here. And one of those VU meters is a track, right? So if you had like this old tape machine, you would see, you know, every, every input would have its own VU meter, right? And that's what you're doing. You're, it's not so much, it's not so much that you're getting these different tapes. It's that you're getting this summing box up here. You're getting the summing effect of the tape. This is, this is like, this is a, this is a colorful form of summing. Does that make sense? So if you go, if you go online, and you type in, you know, tape. Right? If you type in tape emulation plugin, you're going to find like the Waves J37. You're going to find Sketch Cassette. You know what I mean? You're going to find, you're going to find RC20. 
okay, you're going to find, you're going to find uh, reels. You're going to find tape by saw to, by soft tube. You know what I mean? You're going to find waves by Kramer. You're going to find all of these different, of these different, um, choices. And if you don't have an Apollo and you can't get oxide, but you want to get this vibe, if you go and get, say, something like this, this is not going to help you, right? Because this is all about noise, wear, glue, high shaping, and fucking AI, right? The plugins that are going to help you do what this are called console emulation plugins, right? Waves NLS. This is one of the most early forms of this type of plugin. It's 50 bucks. That's an alternative. The CLA mix hub, right? The, uh, if you get the waves, if you get the slate bundle, the uh, VCC console emulation, this shit is excellent. This is fantastic. I actually run, I actually run Oxide into the console emulation because I'm a psycho, right? What else do they have? But yeah, if you don't want to pay the subscription, you can still get it for 150 bucks. That's right. Studio One has stock ones. They also, if you have, if you have the uh, the subscription to Studio One, you'll have um, what's it called? You'll have the uh, all the different consoles that they make, and I think they're up to six now. Now you're also gonna run into you're also gonna run into stuff like this, right? where you're going to be like, oh, look at this. Look at this channel strip. Is this the same thing? And the thing that you got to do when you're looking, when you're looking for shit, right? When you're look, and this is the most important thing, it's, especially if you're looking at my stuff. When, when you're looking at my stuff, you got to, you got to look at it and figure out what is it doing, right? Because these plugins right here, if you read about them, they're not like the, this is so that you can get the EQ, right? And maybe, and maybe the distortion circuit from up top. But if you put, if you put, you know, 13 of them on a mix or something like that, it's not giving you a non-linear response, right? Which is, which is what this is all about. This is, it's what Waves invented with Waves NLS, right? Oops. Like this is what this is this is what this is about. This is what the whole thing is about. Waves together with Spike Stent, Mike Hedges, and Yoad Nivo is proud to present the MLS Nonlinear Summer. Three legendary consoles in one powerful plugin. Featuring Spike Stent's SSL. I'll show you something. You see how this says how this says Nevo one. If you if you put th this is what the whole like non non linear thing is in a nutshell, right? If you put say you have like fourteen tracks, right, and you and you put an NLS on on track one, and then you put an NLS on track two, track three, track four. Each one of these is going to be different. It's going to be Nevo one, Nevo two, Nevo three, Nevo four, Nevo five, Nevo. And what that and what that's indicating is that each instance of this plugin is coded ever so differently, so that it reacts like a console. In that each transformer, right? Each set of resistors affects the voltage in an ever so different way which gives you that separation and that width and that you know the analog vibe that's what they're recreating in in the digital realm right that's what that's what this product is doing that's what that's what slate vs uh uh vs um slate vcc is doing 
What's another good one? McDSP? Oh, yeah. So that's a McDSP analog channel, right? Like, I think I... This is this is a sleeper. This was um this was what yeah, yeah, this was the boy. This was the boy, bro. I remember when this shit came out. Yo, this was on everything. Everything. This is a plug-in. This is not hardware. So good. Wait, is this is this is this a new version of it? Oh no, this is this is still the same thing. You select the tapes, yeah, 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 yeah the little yeah, okay, okay, okay. I thought they did something new, but yeah. So this is this is the same thing. You put this do 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 on every channel, and it's gonna give you, you you select you select what you know what type of tape machine you're using. And it's going to give you a nonlinear response, right? So for, for alternatives to oxide, you have AC202, McDSP analog channel, right? How much does this cost? A buck 29. You can find it. You can find it for, it, it, it goes on sale for like 50 bucks. You can go to... You can go to Waves NLS, right? This guy. Or you can go to Slate VCC. This guy right here. Those, those are your three alternatives. Notice none of them look like a tape machine. None of them look like a tape machine. Oxide is the only one that looks like a tape machine. <clears throat> you guys, you guys know of any other ones? I gotta get something to drink. Ooh, True Iron. True Iron is a good one. I wonder if I have that installed right now. I forget I have True Iron. True Iron is dope. This is like this one's cool. Um it it um similar thing, you know, it 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 uh it it's modeling transformers. Um what's cool about it is you it, is it gives you a lot of a lot of control you can you know you, you could boost it you can really you could really like uh you know compress the signal you can also blend how much you want like you can you can really do a lot with it it's dope it's a really dope plugin all right
Oh man, standalone gang is hating on Omnisphere. Oof. I gotta step my game up. Yo. <laughs> Yo, Roshi. You know how I was thinking about <laughs> You know how like the people who the people who um who hate on the NPC sounds? Like they're the same people who will be quick to tell you like it's not the it's not the tools, it's the person. Unless it come unless it comes to making music on NPC sounds. Then it's then it's definitely the tools. Yo, God particle on everything, bro. <laughs> bro, I got that shit. <laughs> Dude, I got that. I'm going out of my summing mixer into the SSL stuff into God particle. You say you got a love-hate relationship with Omnisphere? Hate to see it, boss. I've never hated Omnisphere. I'll tell you that right now. Never, ever in my life have I ever hated Omnisphere. Never not once have I been like, Ooh, I'm so mad at Omnisphere. Except when I couldn't afford it. Then I was like, too many people use Omnisphere.
Uh, boom, get you some auto fades, get you some sample one. Why won't you stop doing that? There you go. 
Bro, is the tape desk from Overloud also an alternative to Oxide? Please look at it. That would be great. Could you please look at it later? Tape desk plugin from Overloud. Is it maybe an alternative? Joshy, how come you can't look at it? <clears throat> Do you own it? So it's just that. Studio and my favorite daughter make music in? No.
strings i wonder did i i wonder did i fix my spitfire shit dude i got so many plugins that i just forgot about when i switched over to the m1 do these work oh i got them back i miss these Oh no, come on. The new choir from Spitfire is crazy. Spitfire made a choir? Spitfire made a choir? <laughs> Spitfire made a choir, you say? We're making drill. Oh, it's an originals choir? Hey, baby. Give me this. <laughs> Give it to me right now. Give it to me right now. You guys talk to me right now. <clears throat> Somebody talk to me right now. Say something dumb so I can yell at you. <sighs> Is it worth it? Mm. Yo, what? Bro, what are we doing? There we go. I was about to say, about to say, boy. Vapors, thanks for the God Particle Breakdown. Yeah, bro. No problem. I bet your mom can hear it, pupil. Yo, it don't take no 20 minutes to get my purchase ready.
<sighs> so you used it as a metering tool at first, and now you're going through your hardware as the final sauce at fifty percent. Yeah, sometimes sometimes I turn it down to zero percent. You know what I mean? Um, I'm using it. I'm using it for like I I started making a. I'm making I'm making um I'm making another product. I'm making drill loops volume three. And uh mainly because I have to make a bunch of drill songs now. So they're for me. But like all of my stuff, I'm gonna make it for me and then I'll sell it to you guys. Um but yeah, I uh I'm like, you know, if I'm just gonna you know, to make it faster, especially especially like when you're on MPC and plus, just to like, just to like give, you know, the NPC guys, you know, a, a, an alley-oop, you know what I mean? Like, let me make some loops that are just like, that are hitting that, that mid-range element inside the God particle. And then when you put them on your NPC, you know what I mean? Like, it's just boom, like it, it it's ready to go. You just put the drums around it and you're going to have, you know, you're going to have a nice full sounding um joint. Use the Spitfire drill. Oh, yes, you right. You right. You right. You right. We got to pull that out, too. So. He's dropping a hardware version. I don't believe that. I think he's trolling you guys. Oh, okay. All right, where is my Spitfire? There we go. Boom. Update. Ha <laughs> Things are happening. Install the Epic Choir. Yeah, Vapors, because he's not going to make any hardware versions of it. <laughs> he's not going to make any hardware versions of it. Like, dude, like, there's a reason, there's a, re there's a reason why plugins... And like, bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. The plugins don't sound like hardware. Vapors, you got any hardware? Damn, you bro, they hid they hid Trins VST. Just alive two in the force. Vapors, I'm telling you, bro, like this shit don't sound the same. So to to make listen. I I I I just don't think it's gonna happen. I don't I don't think it's realistic. And if they do make it. Is not going to sound like the plugin, and that could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing. Damn, there's mad new labs too. Labs got a new choir. Okay. What the hell's going on? Yo, there's so many labs. Dude, I thought they stopped making these shits. I didn't. I didn't know they kept going with it. Huh? Wow, they're going nuts. There's like twelve different labs libraries I don't have. All right, so let's let's get. Take it easy. Let's get labs out of the picture. 
remove. Let's try it again. Motherfucker! Oh my god, what is happening with these, bro? Yo, AD, did this, did this shit, oh my god, I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can fix error one in Spitfire Audio plugin libraries. This includes BBC SO and Labs. Error one can occur if the plugin cannot see the patches and presets That's what's happening. folders, or if your patches and presets are not up to date. First, go to your library contents location and remove the patches and presets folders. Next, you'll need to head over to the Spitfire Audio app and find the relevant library page. Here, you should now repair each section of the library. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll do that. Thank you very much. We'll try that. Because is that what's happening? I don't, I don't see. Is that what I'm getting? Am I getting error one? I'm getting error one. Okay. All right. This is this is bullshire, I tell you. This is bull jive. It's bull jive. What is it? What do you say? Patches and presets? Library you should now find the relevant library. Next, you'll need to head over to the Spitfire Audio app and find the relevant library page. You need to head over to the Spitfire Audio. Go to your library contents location and remove the patches and presets. Patches and presets. Move to trash. You know what else we can move to trash? We can move you to trash. How about that? No, was I looking for epic strings? Repair. No. Yo, why don't I see the, uh, okay, you know what? That's fine. Whatever. I get it. Talking so much shit.
beautiful. Everybody's here. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so we got that. Empty that trash. Yes, empty it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got two Spitfire folders, bro. That's not good. That ain't good. That's not good at all. Come on. Shimon, Mike. Shimon. Yo, speaking of Mike, you guys seen the trailer for the Mike Tyson uh, show on Hulu? That it better not suck. It better not suck. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> what up, Key Flow? How you doing, bro? I'm I'm, I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you I'm glad you uh, follow me on the burner too, bro. Appreciate you. That's Key Flow. I was like, wait a minute, is that Jarrett Todd? Is that Jarrett Todd?
Fucking loser. Oh, this is going to be worth it, I swear. Um, do no, 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 They killed Killer B. I want to talk to Samson. Mm-hmm. 
grand on my panky panky mm -hmm. Tell him sci fi. Let's hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Is it? What am I looking for now? I'm going to look for what am I doing? I'm looking for another instrument. I'm looking for trends. I'm looking for trends. Oh, look at trends up in the spot. Okay. So let's get out of the loose folder. What did trends give us? He gave us keys. He gave us drums. Let's start with the kalimba and just go from there. Mm -hmm.
texture in there just a little a little something nothing too crazy um all right what was what was it it's a it's a choir what's it called what's the name of the choir instrument called Originals. Okay. Oh, I probably have to go. Never mind. I gotta do this. Update plugins list. Yeah, there it is. Epic Choir. I got it. Epic Choir. Oh, look at it. It's in there now, boy. We in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things are happening. All right, what do we got? Tenors and basses, sopranos and short staccato syllables. Yeah, what's that sound like? That's not a choir. Get all the way the fuck out of my house, Spitfire. No. You did not just give me that in drill season. <laughs> you didn't just give me that. Oh, my God. Boy, oh boy. Some of the best $30 you can spend is on an epic instrument from Spitfire. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. Long episodic 
combo. What does that sound like? Dude, I feel like I feel like you could do the fucking all the bad boy choirs with this shit. doing a lot. No, this is the one. Okay. All right, stop fucking off. Let's do the music. to what, what am i i'm in d minor so we want to do one of these 
Let's see. We want to do a 6-6, six, six, right? So we'll do this guy. 3, SC6. 1, 2, 3. Every other note in the scale. And then one of you, right? So a little transition. <laughs> six and then we want to do a five right five seven two can we do two sixes i don't think we can but we'll try it you know why not <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to fucking get these off before anybody finds them. Uh. Yeah, it's uh, it's the Spitfires um epic choir. Oh. 
any different strings. I want you to do me a favor, never hop in my chat and, and, and write Bone Thugs type beat. Never do that. Never. Don't ever do that. I'll be like Kid Cudi. <laughs> Throw one more water bottle at me and I'm gone. Never see me again. I need a I didn't even know they had multis in here. Oh my god. Oh, there's so much shit. It's fucking I still don't know this VST all that well. That's what we need. We need this. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs>
All right, Brian King, appreciate you, bro. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. You know what my new favorite thing is in here? Is this. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what it is. This one works so much better than Neutron. I mean, it's probably because it's Pro-Q. But, oh, my God. This is so good. This makes me so happy. I just don't like how I can't rename these in Studio One. It, it just pisses me off. Like, I've got the cursor in here. And it's just like, nah, you can't rename that. around guys you know what this is you know what this is fucking fucking stop it stop it stop stop playing with me
damn sound shifter put some latency on your boy. Fuck. What happened to what happened to the green Z? Huh? Where'd that guy go? What do I got to do? What do I got to do to get the green Z back? I still don't got low latency yet. How do I get... How many gigs of RAM is my Mac? A fucking lot of gigs of RAM. Why are you worried about my RAM though? Yo, why this shit don't give me the green Z? You just bought a 16 gig M1? Oh, you flexing? Okay.
Oh my god, I love this plugin. Fab filter is that baby boy. You guys ever use it like that? Love this plugin. I love this plugin. The CQ is so fucking good, bro. Oh my god.
oi, oi, oi. There we go. All right. 